God wants all people to be saved, 1 Timothy 2.4 and 2 Peter 3.9. How would he not? We are all his children, his creation. More than that, he has already paid a price beyond understanding in sacrificing his one and only dear Son for the sins of the entire world, John chapter 3, verse 16. God gains nothing from the damnation of unbelievers, Ezekiel chapter 18, verse 23, except to the degree that he is glorified in his just condemnation of their arrogant disbelief, Romans chapter 3, verse 4. Having already paid for salvation for every single human being who has ever lived, God has most certainly made arrangements for that salvation to be received by one and all. Indeed, it is only by refusing His grace that anyone is blotted out of His book of life. Revelation chapter 13 verse 8 The only thing lacking for anyone to be saved is his or her participation in the process. The only thing that prevents a person from being saved is his or her refusal to acquiesce to God. Consider then both the mercy and the severity of God, for He is severe towards those who have fallen away, but merciful towards you, if that is, you continue in that mercy. But if you do not, you too will be cut off, and if they do not continue in their unbelief, they will be grafted back in. Romans chapter 11 verse 22 and 23 How to be saved Submit to God by doing the one thing He requires, accepting through faith the person and the work of His Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Jesus answered, This is the work of God that you believe in the one He has sent. John chapter 6 verse 29 In Old Testament times before the coming of the Messiah and His sacrifice on the cross, those who responded to God put their faith in Him to solve the problem of their sins and so grant them salvation in the end. Romans chapter 3, verse 25 and 26. The blood sacrifices ordained by God since Adam and Eve were expelled from the garden symbolize the spiritual death of that promised and hoped for substitute to come. Genesis chapter 3, verse 21. And I will meet with you there, that is, at the ark. And I will speak with you from above the atonement cover between the two cherubim which are on the ark of the testimony, that is, at the place where the blood symbolic of Christ's death is sprinkled. Exodus chapter 25 verse 22 Today after the cross, the object of salvation, the mystery which had been hidden since the beginning of the world, Colossians chapter 1 verse 26 and 27, has been revealed in complete detail. Jesus is the way of salvation and the only way to be saved, John chapter 14 verse 6, Jesus is the person in whom we must put our trust, in whom we must believe, in whom we must have faith. It is only by accepting God the Father's substitute for our sins that we are saved, and the only thing necessary to do so and receive God's so great salvation is to accept through faith the Lord Jesus Christ, His perfect person, God and man, and His perfect work, dying for our sins on the cross. Jesus is the one and only provision of God's grace for salvation, and believing in Him, is the only way to exchange certain death and condemnation for eternal life.